I'm gonna show you how to use the Lucy in the looking forward at the subject orientation. And the way that you do that is by changing the direction of the optical head. You remove it, just loosen the thumb screw in the bottom, just slightly, don't remove it, just loosen it. Pull the Lucy head off. Then before you had it here with the looking down, looking down to your drawing surface, just flip it so the view hole is now facing you. The logo is facing up then reattach it. Don't worry if that when you reattach it, it's now kind of tilted a little bit because you have to catch one of the facets of the hexagonal rod. Just go ahead and get it as close as you can, tighten the screw again, then it's easy to twist the rod however you need. Tighten that screw again, then sit up straight, do what's comfortable, kind of turn yourself at a little angle from the table again with your, with your uh, good arm out and bring the optical head up to your eye. I'm gonna get a fresh, a fresh sheet here. Now the same, a lot of the same things apply that we showed in the previous section showing how to use the, the Lucy uh, standing, looking down at your subject. Um, right now, the top of my mannequin is here. The bottom is here, so I want to move it a little bit. You rock it back and forth. You can see how it changes the placement. Now it's centered pretty much perfectly. His head is here, his foot is here, centered perfectly on here. If I wanted to zoom up, same sort of thing. Just move it around back and forth, rock it, move him around until you get him to the place that you want him. And so this orientation sort of flips everything on its head. Now when I look through here, closing your one eye, again, looking through with the other eye, instead of seeing the ghost image reflected on my paper, now I kind of see a ghost hand and a ghost sheet of paper and I see the image here. And you look through and just draw with your ghost hand. This orientation, I actually, this is my, I, I prefer drawing this way. I think it's, it, uh, is a little easier, it's more comfortable because you just kind of sit here and you look forward. As you see, it's quite easy and intuitive to just draw with your ghost hand. You're looking at that ghost hand and you just draw around the image like you would with the, uh, you know, the other orientation we already showed you. Now, the filters, work the same way as well, but because you flipped everything on its head, it'll be a little bit different, the situation that you want. Generally speaking, the filters are less important or needed less often when, when drawing this way because now instead of the image being ghosted, your hand and your pencil marks are now ghosted. Um, and so right here, I think the perfect balance is no filter at all. I don't really need a filter, this is kind of perfect. And, but sometimes the image might be too bright. You can't see your ghost hand enough. Your ghost hand is kind of dim. You see the image so well, you don't really see your ghost hand. The perfect balance always depends on your room. Every room has different lighting. There's a different amount of light being cast on your drawing surface, a different amount of light being cast on your subject. There's no one thing I can tell you to always do this or that that's going to get you to the right balance. You just have to know the tools that you have, and then find that balance yourself. And always, when you're trying to figure out if you wanna use one of the filters, just look through there and hold it. When I hold the filter up here, I see that the image became dimmer. And that is helping me see my pencil marks better. And, in, and uh, that actually works pretty well. This, is, this looks pretty good. I think I still prefer the brightness that I get with, um, without the filter in this instance. But it's something that I might, uh, Definitely use if the lighting was slightly different in the room. And you can also attach the filter down here and the image gets brighter. Again, in this, in this, in this instance, um, this makes the image too bright and the hand too dim. But just to show you the same sort of thing, say I do want this uh, image to be a little dimmer. I'm looking through this way and I can't, I don't see my hand well enough. I don't see the marks well enough. You take that thumb screw out again thread it through and attach it like you did before.
And now the image is dimmer and compared to my hand, my hand is brighter. And this is something you can do, you don't always have the same filter the whole time depending on what you're doing. With this particular lighting I have here, I could see myself drawing the beginning like this and getting some of the, uh, the um, with the image a little dimmer, drawing some of the uh, more larger shapes, focusing on the drawing rather than some of the details. And then take that filter off and have the image be a little brighter to kind of fill in some more of the, uh, the more intricate details. And you can remove the filter or you can just loosen the thumb screw, flip it up out of the way and tighten it again. And then the filter is out of the way and the image is now brighter. Then loosen it, drop it down again. And you wanna make your, those pencil marks a little brighter and go back and forth as needed.